Hello and good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's OCC coming at you today. <laughs> Been a while since I made some videos on corruption stuff. I'm not really trying to get all back into that too much, but I just wanted to touch base with y'all. It's about a year ago. I was making some videos talking about all the corruption. People was making fun of me. And I was saying judgment's coming, and judgment is coming, ladies and gentlemen. There's a bunch of prophets and talking about it. Uh, Trump is our only hope. By the way, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. And I'm just trying to get the truth out there the way I see it. And a lot of corruption, a lot of things going on in the world, a lot of problems. There's, uh, I, I think last I heard, there was 20-something different countries in war or conflict, Venezuela, Guana, uh, you got Ukraine, so, uh, Russians, uh, Britons getting involved in things, but you can do a search and see it's not looking good. Uh, they're thinking World War III is right around the corner, and this whole thing got started with, um, you know, Israel's involved in it, and now, now they're vowing to... It says right here, death to America, human erupts after U.S. strikes. Uh, Trump's in the news. His polls are going up. People are getting tired of this corruption. People are getting tired of things. And the only hope we have is if everybody turns to Jesus Christ. And, you know, it's just so much sin and, and, and bad things going on. I mean, we've all sinned and fell short of the glory of God, what the Word says. But it's getting time, ladies and gentlemen, to start getting right with God. I'm, I'm telling you. And... That's what I'm trying to do, and I'm trying to tell everybody, hey, look, look, just open your eyes and look, and go read the Bible. It's coming right out of the Bible, and uh, I mean, word for word, right out of the Bible, right in front of our eyes, and things are getting, I mean, there was earthquakes up in Oklahoma. There's uh, just wars everywhere, and if Israel uh, breaks out in a major war, and we get into World War Three, and these nuclear weapons start coming up, Jesus is going to come back. He's going to rapture the church up out of here. And then you know what they're going to say? They're going to say the aliens took the Christians off the face of the earth because they were causing problems. Because Christians are starting to cause some problems for the uh, crooked side of the government. Now, I'm not talking about all things in the government's crooked. But the United States has really gone astray. And there's a lot of corruption I'm not saying it can't be brought back. I don't know. Only God knows that, and only God can do it. But I'm saying this government is corrupt, and we're headed, if things keep going the way they're going, for a totalitarian, communist dictatorship government where the one world order is going to rule over everybody. They've got the technologies in place to do that or getting them in place. Um, you know, Tesla's got this neural link thing now they're working on to where... <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're trying to take it to where your consciousness can actually be uploaded into a computer, into a simulated uh, program. So it's like you never die. And then Tesla's also working on things to, uh, with the neural link uh, to give you sight. If you were born blind, uh, to give you bionic arms and legs. I mean, he's kind of sounding like Jesus himself in a way, you know, give sight to the blind and... I don't know if this quantum AI is real or not, this trading algorithm that they've got, but it's supposed to be Tesla behind it, or Elon Musk, and he says he's going to end corrupt, uh, poverty, poverty. So if he ends poverty and gives sight to the blind and all that, I mean, I'm not saying the man's antichrist, I don't know, but it, he's sounding like he could be in position for something like that, but I don't know, I'm not even saying that, I'm just saying it's something to be looking at. Uh, but there's a lot of things going on in the world right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy. But this is what I want to talk about today is the aliens or the fallen angels that accidentally got the coordinates backwards and went to uh, the uh, Miami Mall, Marketplace Mall in Miami. I think that happened on New Year's Day. And now there's a big government cover up over it. They've got footage of these huge aliens 12, uh, 12 to 16 foot tall well three of them are i don't think they're aliens or fallen angels is what they probably are and they were headed evidently to the secret base in antarctica and got the coordinates in backwards now i just want to show you guys some stuff here on this 
I know a lot of you will make fun of me again, but did I not tell you? Judgment's coming, and judgment is coming. I mean, it's coming quick, too, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all better start getting right with God very quick. And if you're part of that gang stalking program, you better, you better look real deep into things. Real deep. You may think that you're doing your community a good thing, but where in the Bible did Jesus go out and harass people? He didn't. So, uh, if you go to church and somebody approaches you about some menace to the community or something, if that's uh, how it happens, I would, uh, I would question myself very, question them. And uh, go look in the Bible and read where Jesus uh, tried to push people away. Uh, you won't find it. So, just a little note for you. But it's going to be judged. The program's going to be judged. The government's being judged. Everything. There's prophets everywhere speaking of it. And the Christians are starting to cause this new world order some problems. So, you know, it's time for the Christians to wake up, stand up and fight. And maybe it's not too late to take at least part of the United States back and kind of reset it before Jesus comes back. Because this war thing breaks out. Nuclear weapons start going off. Whew. Jesus will be back. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys some things. Uh, um, here's a deal right here. It says, Death to America. Okay. Another thing I wanted to show you was a lot of you guys may be saying, Why was the coordinates going to Antarctica? Antarctica's secret alien cover-up. Ancient aliens. Okay. They say that there's a hidden base under the ice in Antarctica. It goes back to World War II when Hitler went up there. He seeked all these sorcerers and did these seances and these spirits guided him to this place. And Admiral Byrd went up there. Uh, I can't remember if it's uh, Operation Paperclip or High Jump or which one, but you can look it up and study it. But the Russians were recording the whole thing. When World War II was over, just to make this real quick, the uh, United States goes to Germany and they start uncovering all these secret projects that the scientists were going for the secret, secret projects. Uh, Von Berner, Br Bruner, or whatever his name was, the head of the rocket program, he was still there. That, that's The United States, NASA, was actually formed by the Germans, the Nazis, the ones that they're looking for everywhere. But hey, if you've got some information that'll help the government be more dictator, stronger, then hey, we, we don't care if you're a Nazi. But that's what they did. They went over there and got these Nazi scientists. And anyway, they got to looking for these special ones. They found some supposedly some UFOs, flying saucers. And they got to looking for these saucers, these uh, scientists that were working on the project. And they found out that they were going to the secret base up in Antarctica. So the Russians were watching this whole thing from a distance. Well, Admiral Byrd comes on the picture, and they decide they're going to get a scientific, expedi scientific expedition ready to go. And so they get a battle armada. Um, all these battleships and uh, jets, whatever, and they start cruising to Antarctica. People was asking, why are you taking a battle armada on a scientific expedition? A good question. Good question. Because they already knew what they might run into. And they said, well, we never know what we might run into. It's Antarctica, right? You ain't supposed to run into nothing but ice. But they already knew they was going to run into something. Well, they get their butts up there. And in 20 minutes time, these discs come up out of the water. The Russians have it recorded. The Ru There's actually a story on YouTube. If you can find it, it's been hidden. You can't find it anymore. But there's other people that saw it and recorded it, and there's still Russians talking about it. And they recorded the thing. These discs come up, and they end up shooting lasers, I guess, these beams of light, and destroy 80% of the fleet in 20 minutes. And they crippled back to just barely made it back to the United States and had a big cover-up on that. But... I mean, there was a secret base up there with these UFOs. So that's where Antarctica comes in this picture, ladies and gentlemen. These these fallen angels or whatever were going to the secret base, and somebody made a big boo-boo and put the coordinates in backwards. And they showed up at the Miami uh, Mall. Now, let's just go over here and let me see here. Let's go over here and put in... Uh, 
Miami Mall aliens, unless you see what we get to pop up. Look at here, right off the bat. This old boy right here. I mean, look at these things. They're huge. When it goes back to the picture, you'll see it. I mean, these things are, you, you, they said they came through the wall. It was, I've had it a lot in my comment section as well, is the video that he took of the side-on profile of the alien, um, or what he claims to be the alien, everyone was saying that it was a statue, but a little too much, or uh, King Sosa does go on to debunk this claim in this TikTok right here. Take a little look at this. Yeah, it's moving. Lots of people on the road. Every cop in Miami showed up at this thing. So there he goes. It goes on to prove that the statue truly wasn't there and actually what he captured was not just a statue. But no. that is only one of a few clips that King Sosa has truly were aliens. Now, the first thing I wanted to show you was I've had it a lot in my comments. Okay. Okay, Jay, wait here. Ladies and gentlemen, things. so I've had some uh, requests to check out this one certain little TikTok video. Now, this dude is like a security guard. I don't know if he was in Miami or what, but the video has kind of gone viral. I think it has about a million views. He, here it is. What's up, guys? Uh, Taylor from Right, you can see the podcast. thing walking. And they said it yeah, materialized and went through the wall. I saw the stuff going on in Miami, um, Florida here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, and of course... And of course, what what's the government do? We have another government cover up. They are saying there was no aliens there. You guys, let me know down in the comments. They are saying, okay, everybody, this is funny too. Everybody's phone that got anything when they were coming out. Every cop in Miami was called to the scene. Okay, they said it was some kids popping firecrackers. This was for their cover up story. Another bunch of crap. You can see it a mile away. I mean, when can you guys tell us the truth? Can you ever tell the truth? That's my question. I mean, and you guys think we're going to trust you when you tell us we're going to get uh, the country stabilized. We're going to get the prices of fuel. Done. No, I don't believe nothing you tell me. I don't know about you guys, but I don't believe nothing because you can't tell the truth in these matters. Uh, but anyway, it's a government cover-up. Uh, there's supposed to be some kids that were in the mall popping fireworks, but they don't have no videos of no kids. I mean, there's security cameras everywhere. Where are the videos? They closed the mall down for a time. <laughs> the whole mall? Okay, for some kids popping fireworks? I mean, what's really going on here? But every cop in Miami was on duty. Ladies and gentlemen, you do the research. You tell me what you think about it, okay? Leave me some comments and tell me what you think. You think it's a hoax? You think the world's coming to an end? You think, I don't know, what do you think? Anyway, I think uh, I think people better start getting right with Jesus is what I think. Anyway, you guys, two thumbs up. Love you. Y'all take care. CC's out.